Hello my pretties and welcome back to Extraordinarily Nice. Today we're going to be making rainbow bagels. Here's the recipe I'll be using so go ahead and screenshot it if you want to follow along. I do recommend watching the video once through though before you go jumping on that bandwagon because it did not go great. First step is to go ahead and gather your dry ingredients except for the flour. I combine them into one little container just because it's easier to measure everything out ahead of time and go from there. You'll be activating this yeast in your KitchenAid or whatever, in any, any bowl will be fine. The key here is to make sure that your water is like 115 to 125, no hotter. I actually boil in my tea kettle and then I use one and a half cups of tap water to half a cup of the boiled water and it brings it to the perfect temperature. Once you let it sit for three to five minutes, it'll be foamy and that's kind of what you're looking for and make sure your yeast is still active. And then gradually add in your flour. Start with about three cups, mix it up for a little bit and then add your remainder in like one cup increments. The point here is to get it to a dough where it's actually pulling from the sides. It's just like all my other bread recipes. This is pretty standard as far as making a bread dough goes. I'm scraping on the sides just to get it incorporated a little bit better and I keep adding flour. It's a tedious process, but once you've done it a couple times, you'll kind of go on instinct, if that makes sense. Real quick though, let's talk about the mess I made. Like, look at this. Nonsense. Once you get the dough to the right consistency, go ahead, turn it out onto a floured surface and cut it up into four sections or however many colors you're using. I just bought like a four pack of gel color, so four it is. And here's where everything went to shit. So I started off by using my mixer, right? And I divided it up into four and threw it in. Well, the thing is I used a normal bagel recipe. Like I used my regular bagel recipe and cut it into four. All the videos I watched and all the posts I read they actually used a recipe that was like four times this. So each recipe was basically one color and then they combined it all to make four times as many bagels. Well, I didn't need four dozen bagels. I don't even need one dozen bagels. So I went ahead and divided up my existing bagel recipe into four. And then my KitchenAid just couldn't handle how tiny it was. <laughs> it was like, what am I supposed to do with this? So I ended up having to use my hands, which man, like I can't even tell you how painful this was by the end. You can see when we get down to the purple, I like stopped trying. My hands didn't work anymore. I was dropping stuff. <laughs> it did not, did not go great, but the bagels totally turned out. So stay tuned. If anyone out there watching this has a better idea on how to incorporate this color and make it work please let me know because this did not no like this is not gonna work for my lifestyle now I'm pretty good at making bread I'm good at these bagels were great but like making these colorful bagels not fun and look at this purple I was just like this is good this this zebra stripe here yeah no this is fine like this is Once you get them all together, go ahead, ball it up, cover it up, and let it proof for 30 minutes. This is the first of three rises. After your 30 minute rise, go ahead and punch it down. Now you're gonna do this for each color. I'm only showing you the like tealy color, but the steps are the same, obviously, for each one.
once you get your rectangle or whatever shape you want to do set go ahead and put the dough to the side and repeat the steps for the next color stacking each color on top of the previous color my poor purple like this dough would have been cute if i had like flavored it blueberry or something that would be like super cute but yeah for rainbow i kind of phoned in the purple all right so cover your block of dough and let it proof for another 30 minutes then grab a pizza cutter and start cutting slices you'll want each one to be about six inches so cut about an inch thick six inches and then roll it out twist it to kind of get that rainbowy twist effect and then form your bagel I'm not gonna lie, I was super shocked when these turned out so cute. <laughs> I was like, this is not gonna go well. And then it went well, and I was like, that's weird. And then cover it up again, let it proof for another 30 minutes. During this rise though, start your water. Uh, you want it to be uh, like four inches deep. So start boiling it up and also preheat your oven because you know, it takes about 30 minutes for this much water to get boiling. Then pop a bagel or two in at a time, 30 seconds each side, boil it, pull them out, put them on parchment paper, and once you've boiled all of them, throw them in the oven. Once you take them out and let them cool and slice into it, you'll find it's just normal bagel. Like it's a plain bagel. It doesn't, it looks sweet, but it's not. It's just your standard flavor and it's so yummy. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Subscribe down below. All my socials are in the right. You get sneak peeks of what I'm working on. Thanks guys.